we are finally back at the usual outlets. I'm not joking. I couldn't tell you the last time. Can tell you the last time I filmed one. It has been literally such a hot minute. The Goodwill Bins is literally a place where it's like stuff that either didn't sell, was too damaged to sell, or like the thrift stores had way too much inventory that they just shoved it here. It kind of looks like a warehouse. There's a bunch of random bins every like 10 minutes or so, depending on your location, they'll bring out new bins. So it's like an endless supply of just hunting. It is literally so fun. It's my favorite place to be. What better way to start my first video off? then at the good old outlets. So let's go in and see what we could find. Oh my God, we have arrived. Literally the first thing I found is this like nude t-shirt. There's nothing on the back though. So again, I'm trying to be more selective with my inventory. And then also like this misguided. I need to stop myself from getting this, but I mean, I feel like I need this in my life. I just don't like like the style of the shirt, but even the tag is super cute. Also, don't look at my nail. How cute is this? Just in time for Valentine's Day. I'm really tempted to buy this and throw it in the wash and give it to James for obviously Valentine's Day. I mean, look, his eyes are in hearts. And as you can see, everybody is over there. And um, I'm not joking. I have not talked to the camera in probably two hours because there's so many people here. I don't know how I got a cart because there's like two carts this whole time, which a tip, you could always like go into the bins and find a bag or bring your own bag. But what I do is I just wait when people check out and if they have a cart, I'm like, hey, can I have your cart? And nine times out of 10, they give me their cart. But I always ask if they're done first, just to make sure. But yeah, we have a lot of things in here. Currently waiting in line and I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I'm not into like the whole patriotic thing. Uh, it's not even 4th of July, so we're gonna put this back. It's a new day and we're gonna be driving to the thrift stores in Jackson because honestly, I don't think I got like any footage in there. First off, it was my mistake because I never go like late in the day. I always try to go there around like noonish, early in the morning, just depends when I get there. But this time I literally stayed until they did the last um, like putting new things out and they like were about to close. I've never done that mistake because that is where all of the people that don't really go there to get stuff go there if that makes sense so it was literally filled i've never seen that many people there never seen that many people my age there especially which normally that doesn't bother me at because like there's literally so much clothes there that there's enough for everyone but it was just like to the point where i was like i am never doing this again never going at this time and you guys know i always talk about like people uh, fist fighting there out of like the five years i've gone i have never like given any attention to it but there was this one lady i was having a conversation with someone and she butted her way into the conversation because she didn't understand the context of the conversation that i was having with someone else and i was like don't give me attitude like why are you giving me attitude and it was it was a whole it was a whole mess okay because it was one of those things where we were waiting for the bins to come out so we were surrounded by like a lot of people that probably heard this conversation and were probably looking at me like a psychopath so if you saw me and i was acting like a psychopath i'm good you know what it's it was just one of those days had my first argument with someone at the outlets after like six years of being there and being totally cool with everything anyways that's besides the point i feel like i'm just being chatty because i never film and drive i don't know why i feel like it's because i don't have any good angles it's literally raining so it's like a perfect thrifting day very cozy we have arrived at the first thrift store this is literally so cute, but my backyard is a disaster right now, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't think I've ever shown it to you guys, like on the actual camera. This is where I find a lot of my like cool glassware. Like this would be really cute to put fruits in and stuff like that. I found these, how snakey are these? And then also I have never found shoes like this that like wrap around that are actually cute. The heel is a little bit weird, but I feel like 
you could make this work. And then also this like Victoria's Secret purse has like an evening bag with like a lingerie dress. I feel like it'd be so cute. Side note, they always have so many purses here. Like if you actually dig through those, you can find some really good holy girls. Like how cute is this mini bag? It's like a silky, could fit your lip gloss, your wallet, maybe a phone. Also everything here is like a set price pretty much, unless like otherwise marked. But here is this shirt. You guys know I love these, but I'm not gonna take it honestly they don't have that much here today i'm not gonna lie as you can see my outlet stuff is on the bottom but i totally lied i actually ended up finding a lot of good things at the end which is a score like i'm not kidding oh my god we're really dark guys i found so many good things but i didn't want to spoil it you know i want to show you and have it be like a surprise we are now at literally my favorite thrift store that i always take you guys to in like my tiktoks but look at this like sleepwear dress i don't know why but i feel like this could actually be cute with like a turtleneck underneath this is like half cute but the problem is is the inside is super dirty i know you could easily fix that but i just wish this was like a slightly darker shade i literally can't decide if these are cute or not like i don't know why <laughs> it is a saturday night okay i'm feeling crazy clearly if you're not 21 don't or I will literally call the cops on you. Unless, unless you live in Europe, okay? I know how it is there. Um, you might be wondering, Viola, this is literally a thrifting video. What are you doing? Why are you drinking grape juice? Um, because I want to. Honestly, I just felt like spicing it up. Also, I want to go live later on TikTok, so I figured, why not? You know, it's Saturday night. What else am I gonna do? So let's take a sip of this first. Also, if you see anything that you like, it might be up on my Depop, but as you guys know, it takes me a while to post that stuff, so just go ahead and message me. But let's start again with the stuff that I caught at the random thrift stores in Jackson, which I'm actually really excited because I feel like I got some really good pieces because I think I'm going to Hawaii at the end of the month and some of this stuff I'm excited to wear when we get there. So starting with this, I love a good wolf t-shirt. This type of situation um i don't really pick them up as much anymore but i liked this one because it is huge like literally this will fit like a dress and i just think with like a turtleneck underneath like a black turtleneck or honestly even a striped if you're feeling crazy and then maybe some docks we have this cardigan which at first i was like i don't know but if you guys know the sydney carlson and i think it was jaded london collab how she had that really long super pretty gray coat situation it was so cute it was like the most prettiest cardigan but i literally cannot afford it however this kind of gave me similar vibes aside from the bottom obviously this was cropped this kind of gives me like mom like a mom wore this or something but with like i feel like styling the right way would actually look really cool i don't know maybe with like a black pleated skirt and like some cool crazy like black crop top maybe it's like ripped up and maybe even how you take like the tights and you cut them and you do like the little holes with again some type of platform booties could actually look really cool to make up for the fact that the bottom is kind of wonky and a little bit weird looking and then kind of similar i don't know why i was picking up so many sweaters but they just i don't know like the colors how cute i know in my closet clean out i just said um if you guys watched that video i was like oh i never wear any sweaters but honestly i think it's because the sweaters that i had just weren't cute and a lot of these are like i don't want to say different but definitely like sweaters that i would wear again with tights and a skirt just because i don't know with denim i'm not really feeling like sweaters like this especially like the back i feel like you could just make it look so freaking cool and then this one is adorable honestly this though with light denim jeans would actually be really cute and it is like i don't want to say crocheted like it, it is crocheted kind of like the crochet material so it is a little bit see-through so i kind of like that because it's not going to be so hot you could just wear like a tank top underneath or something like that these yoga pants okay i don't know if you're gonna really be able to tell but the back says punishment on them like it is literally so freaking cute and then the front says a punishment uh athletics i don't know i really love this brown color these ripped up 
it's not ripped up but kind of like the mesh i don't know it kind of gives me um what is it called is it edward scissorhands it's like too layered and i feel like if you take the black like lining away and make it like a complete mesh top like see-through and wear like a bra underneath it will look 10 times cuter and maybe you could even if you want to get super creative you could crop it and weirdly turn it into like a mini skirt or something so this is the stuff that i kind of might wear to hawaii so i originally got this dress i was like mm, maybe it's like this gingham yellow and pink it's actually wild fable and i'm not really into dresses like this anymore but then when i was like doing the try on for the video i was like this would actually be really cute with white cowboy boots in Hawaii and you're probably like why would you wear cowboy boots in Hawaii I don't know because I feel like that would be fun and then when I was trying it on with this pink denim jacket I was like oh that is actually a really cute outfit so uh i don't know i don't have any pink denim jackets so i might actually end up cropping this one as well because i don't i'm not too fond of how long it is but i love that it's like bedazzled on the pockets and then also on the buttons so i don't know i feel like this is going to be a really good staple for me to wear because i just to clearly love wearing pink and then as far as accessories i mean you guys saw it in the shot this bag how cute is it obviously it kind of looks like a fake louis in a way like i actually love the stars i might actually keep this and then i also got this bag it has the initial e my sister's name does start with an e so if she doesn't want this which i feel like she probably won't because this is like not her style at all but i might be putting this up on my depop the last thing that i got are these shoes <gasps> i die i love these are my favorite type of shoes to wear in the summertime in terms of like i treat these as like my flip-flops and now before we move on to the outlet stuff let me just take a big fat chug mm, so so good but since we just talked about accessories i might as well talk about the first one that I got. I've been doing so many TikTok lives lately and my favorite thing to do is obviously when I go to like mom and pop thrift stores, I thrift a bunch of stuff and then I'll sit down that night and I'll actually style it on TikTok live. And lately I've been obsessed with wearing leg warmers and I found these at the outlets and I was like, am I really gonna wear a hot pink? leg warmers when i do my tiktok lives i always actually wear them on my arms like this and i was trying to do like a little euphoria tiktok and i was like oh these will be perfect to match with like the pink glittery eyeshadow and stuff i was styling and hannah was on my live and she was like wear a black scarf no she said a funky scarf and then i realized that i didn't have any like normal scarves i needed something to just like a big cozy just like scarf like this the ones that i have are plaid so i was like i feel like having this to throw over will actually be so cute especially with the fact that it's just been snowing heavily as you guys know we had like our power out it's just been way too cold so i don't know why it's taking me this long to get a really good scarf i'm actually pretty sure I have another one exactly like this that's gonna be going up on my Depop. I have to check my inventory, but I'm almost positive, so I'm probably gonna keep this one for myself. And then also, I found just a plain black Timberland one, which I thought was, I don't know, pretty cool. And then the last thing of accessories that I got is like this black seatbelt situation type of belt. I don't know, I think these are really cute, specifically with these pants that I got. As I was saying earlier in the video, there was just so many people my age, especially like like guys that I could tell were vintage resellers they probably snatched up all of the good graphics so I'm surprised that I actually got some really good ones starting with this legally blonde one I kind of wish it didn't say the musical but whatever okay this honestly with this and imagine like a plaid skirt would be actually very cute this little pink tank top just cropped it's forever 21 but i've been looking for just random tank tops like this random blank t-shirts especially like colored ones because as you guys know i got the heat press and i have my cricket machine so i've been wanting to do like okay i have I keep having like a fuzz on my lip but i've been wanting to do just stupid early 2000s things like the classic paris hilton shut up like things like that this one absolutely adore i love the neon 
and glitter of it. A simple Nirvana one. Um, actually, this would look really cool if you bleach washed it as well because I don't really know if I'm too fond of this like blue type color. So I feel like just completely distressing it and bleach washing it will give it a cuter vibe. Two Thrasher t-shirts that were literally together when I found them. So they were probably donated at the same time. It's just a burgundy one and then a plain black one. Someone's ex-boyfriend clearly said, I don't like Thrasher anymore. This DKNY, I'm upset because I actually really liked it. I thought it was gonna fit, but it's too dang tight around my arms. And I don't know, it just gives me like a late 90s, early 2000s, like mom vibe like i feel like this is the stuff my mom used to wear with like dark flare jeans and then the very last graphic that i got is this one this is probably like the coolest one that i found that's like actually a graphic again because all of them boys probably just swooped up every single cool graphic but not this one okay and then for the more cozier things uh same situation like i was talking about with the purple cardigan um this is not a cardigan this is like a poncho like not poncho but like throw on type thing that kind of looks like a cardigan almost fits like a blanket again it is like that gray color and up close it has like this floral type of print i don't know if you can see that okay this zip up that says more on the back i you guys know i have a problem with my juicy zip ups okay if you guys wash my closet clean out but this one so cute obviously not juicy but like the same vibe kind of like if juicy and ed hardy had a baby this actually fits really cute and i've never had a top like this like fit me really well and yeah i think i'm gonna keep it might take it to hawaii i don't know i really like the print of it i never pick up um adidas anymore or really like any champion or anything like that like how i used to just again i'm being a little bit more selective but i really liked the way that this adidas um long sleeve looked i don't know just like the look of it the vibe i feel like with honestly tan dickies and just like some really good sneakers with like your hair in a claw clip or something this out from under like thermal type of lounge wear literally when i worked at urban everybody and their mom would always buy this one and i always wanted to buy it and i never did so i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this my jersey dream again i'm really into this type of style this actually fits really well just like this a thermal long sleeve literally wear this with your black yoga pants and uggs and you're literally gonna look like you are stuck in 2011 does anybody remember the brand side out are you kidding me i literally forgot this brand even existed so when i saw this i freaking screamed because first off it's pink and it has the cute little butterfly on it i just had to get it because it really struck a childhood memory of mine so this fuzzy cardigan this is actually wild fable i love that it was cropped but the weird thing is is when i was like putting it on for the try on i couldn't figure out where the holes were for the button like they were like non-existent there were like two where it looked like the hole was created and then like the top one i literally could not find so i have no idea if this even came with like little holes so it was kind of mind-boggling me but other than that still really cute gonna keep it and then like the last little top thing is actually this windbreaker situation pullover it is by the brand boss which i don't know if that is retro or what i mainly only got it because of the tag like i just thought that was so cute all of the bottoms which isn't a lot but i feel like i got so many good holy grails okay these i thought were gonna fit me and then i put them on and they were literally way too big this i normally don't like like this diamond thing because it just reminds me of when i was in middle school but i don't care at this point it's rhinestone it gives me very much jersey shore vibes and it's just like regular black yoga pants this is the brand paris angel and i don't know these are just literally amazing i am obsessed with them but sadly they are just a little bit too big and then these 80s shorts i'm actually surprised that nobody actually got these honestly with that windbreaker would be very cute but when i wore like that floral top i thought it was actually really cute with this for some reason i don't know for the summer 
the plaid pants this is what i was talking about with like that seat belt belt is would look literally amazing these give me a major like avril lavigne early 2000s skater punk type of vibe there's just endless cute opportunities with this some bdg denim i i don't know i really liked the navy stripe on this the color they're just basic denim and then the last pair are these fake dickies but i don't even care i just love any type of black pant like this that looks like dickies because they're just such an essential like i grab for mine all the time whether it's my tan ones my black ones and again with that seat belt type of belt would look really cool too i guess that is pretty much it for this entire haul okay i hope this inspired you to go out and thrift and again probably gonna be posted up on my depop a lot of this stuff if not again message me and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye